So now let's get into some of the keyword research type of parts, right, with advertising. So I'm going to use this next section to figure out what my best or highly relevant keywords are from Cerebro, right? So what I've done here is I've used Cerebro to basically do a reverse ASIN lookup with 10, up to 10 products. And I get a, a pretty extensive list of keywords, right? So everybody knows that Cerebro can give you a list of keywords. Now, yep. the thing is, problem with that output is that you can't just use it as is, right? You, you have to kind of go kind of do a second pass on it to figure out if those keywords are relevant or not. Just because they are ranked or visible for, for those products doesn't mean that they are the right keywords for you, right? So what you want to do is you want to clean up that Cerebro output by asking ChatGPT to do a quality check of that list of keywords. And the thing that you provide ChatGPT with is a description of your product, right? And so then it knows that, you know, this keyword is actually related to your product and this keyword is not, right? So that immensely improves the quality of your keyword research because you don't have to spend that time kind of going over every single keyword and saying, oh my God, what's this? <laughs> you know, there's a lot of like garbage words that, yeah, that get shown out. So you're just basically separating that list out based on shopping intent and relevancy of the competitor. That That's basically how you would evaluate the list of, of keywords and then ask ChatGPT to download, give you a download downloadable file, which you can then use for your keywords. Okay, very good. And now are you doing all of these steps in the same ChatGPT re prompt so that it's remembering what you've done previously or are you creating new chats for each step? Yeah, so, you know, in that stage when we're trying to perfect the prompt, because you want to do a few iterations before you get it right, mm -hmm. we just use the chat GPT interface. But then once we've got it, then we actually move over to Google Sheets with the embedded chat GPT plugin mm -hmm. uh, so that we can do it at scale. Got it. Yeah. And so through the API, it's probably creating separate chats for each call then, I would imagine. Yes, exactly. Yeah. 